Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and boy do we have some things to discuss. I had hoped that I was going to be done making Dragoonity videos for the entire year of 2020, but as soon as I had that thought about a month ago, Konami announced the new structure deck that they were putting out in August of this year in the OCG, which was Dragoonity Structure Deck R, and then they started releasing cards for it. They started announcing what cards were going to be doing, and Jesus Christ, these cards solve so many problems the deck has. Pretty much like hitting the nail on the head solving almost every issue i had with the deck that i've ever had the consistency issue with terraform being at one and ravine kind of being you know hard to get to the ability to combo with a lesser number of cards all the combos like required three and four card combos before now you have two card combos sometimes pseudo one card combos and the ability for the deck to play through interactions whether that be hand trap disruption or just whatever all these problems have been solved by these new cards and so that's what i'm gonna be talking with you about today now when the last batch of cards were spoiled being glow uh armagram and the new level 10 synchro of reed bear i did a stream where i reinvented all of my combos uh and did all that sort of stuff so i stream with this a lot so this is not new information to me in any like this is the first i've looked into these cards and speaking of streaming i'm probably streaming right now when this video goes live talking about the new Dragoonity cards, so if you're interested in that, link is in the description down below to my Twitch page, come on through, I'm probably going to be spending the entire stream today talking about Dragoonities and uh, stuff like that, so if you're interested, resources there for you. But so we have five new cards that are coming out in the new Dragoonity structure deck, and we might even be getting one or two additional cards, depending on how they structure this uh, structure deck, uh, like the way they design cards for it. But honestly, I don't know what else that I could get. Truthfully, I have no idea what other card they could do because these cards all facilitate some form of solving of an issue, a core underlying issue that the deck has had. So, first and most impactful and important card is Dragoonity Remus. This card is fantastic for so many reasons. I basically like designed this card as a custom card like at least two years ago. If I could find the Discord message where I designed this card and typed it out in my Discord channel, I would definitely post it. I've tried to find it. But this is almost verbatim the kind of custom card that I designed for the deck that I thought would fix a lot of the deck's core underlying issues. And it's insane that this card got printed. But Dragoonity Remus is a level 2 dragon type tuner. Dragoonity card, obviously. It's got 800 attack, 800 defense, and its effects are, it cannot be used as a sync material except for the synchro summon of a Dragoonity monster. You can only use each of the following effects of Dragoonity Remus once per turn. You can discard this card, add one Dragon Arena from your deck to your hand. So this card is an additional copy of Terraforming, meaning it's an instant three of. You're able to discard this card, add Dragon Ravine from your deck to your hand. So now you have seven copies of Ravine at minimum in the deck, because three Ravine, one Terraforming, and the three copies of Remus. You can have an eighth copy of Ravine if you want to play set rotation, although I don't think it's necessary in any way, shape, or form with the rest of the new cards that the deck has. And then also you have interactions like Tempest being Gold Sarked, Searching Remus, being copies of Dragon Ravine as well. So like you have so many copies of Dragon Ravine in the deck now. Getting to Dragon Ravine should not be a problem anymore. Statistically, we have the highest chance we've ever had of getting to Dragon Ravine in our starting five cards. And then its other effect is if you control a Dragoonity monster, you can special summon this card from your graveyard, but banish it when it leaves the field. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except Dragon Monsters. So this restriction is fine. This restriction has existed on Synodus since it came out in Cybernetic Horizon. So this is nothing new. And basically it means that this card is terraforming, but also casually just another extender that can either be you know placed at the beginning of the combo or at the end of the combo, depending on what you need which allows the deck to play through certain forms of interaction. Like if you normal summon Senatus and Senatus discard a tuner and you get like impermed or Veilered on your Senatus, if you discarded Remus to add Dragon Ravine, then you can just special Remus and then still combo. Like it actually is very, very good for the deck uh, for multiple reasons, especially with the interactions that it has and the relationship it shares with the other cards. Now, second new card that I'm really, really a huge fan of is Dragoonity Legatus. I've been saying the deck needs a new impactful level 4 wing beast that actually functions as an extender for a while. The problem the deck has had is that all the wing beasts the deck has are functionally starter cards. They're not really extenders. Like Ducks, Senatus, Legionnaire, those are the three important, like most important wing beast cards. Those cards are not extenders. They are purely starters. And if they get interacted with, then your turn basically falls apart. You have no way to like do an impactful combo because the wing beast aspect of your combos is like super important because you need to be able to synchro up into your stuff if you're just comboing through tuners and missile tins you know the decks extenders then you're not really doing that amazing of a combo but so dragoonity legatus level 4 wing beast 1800 attack 1200 defense so it's searchable off dragon ravine which 
is big nice. And if you control Dragoonie Monster or Dragon Ravine, you can special summon this card from your hand. If you control Dragoonie Monster cards in your spell and trap card zone, you can target one spell or trap on the field, destroy it. You can only use each effect of Dragoonie Legacy once per turn. This card is amazingly good. A very, very, very good superior extender. Strictly because it also can function as a starter card because you do not need to control a Dragoonie card to special it from your hand. You can literally just control Dragon Ravine. Meaning that the deck has a lot more, you know, resiliency in terms of its normal summon being interacted with, which was a huge problem the deck has always had. If your normal summon got interacted with, your normal summon of Ducks or Sinidus or Legionnaire or whatever, then you literally had so little follow-up that you basically had no follow-up at all. This card, because Dragon Ravine just needs to exist on your field, not even a card in your monster zone, you can special summon this card, and you can extend from there with copies of cards like Glow, Mistleton, Divine Lance. Um, if you haven't normal summoned yet, like you can normal a Tuner. Uh, Remus extends very well with this. This card's like synergy with Remus is actually insane. These two cards existing together allow you to play around Nibiru, allow you to play around certain other hand traps and stuff like that. You could let your normal summon get interacted with, like normal summon ducks, it gets like Valored, normal summon Sinidus, it gets impermed, whatever. And if you have Remus and Legatus, you could still just full combo through that. If you have just Remus with a normal summon that sticks and just gets negated, you can still full combo. But if you open Remus, discarding for Dragon Ravine, and then either Dragon Ravine for Legatus, or you just open the Legatus straight out, you're able to special Legatus, and then special Remus, because you control a Dragoonity, you're able to make Gaydurg, add Baby Rock, discard Baby Rock, and special the Baby Rock, and make Crystal Wing, Synchro Dragon, as your fifth summon without normal summoning, meaning that you can't get nibiru because you have Crystal Wing, uh, you have a very good card against Hand Traps if you aren't getting nibiru because you have Crystal Wing, and you haven't Normal Summoned yet, so you can still do full combo off of a Normal Summon of Sinidus or Ducks or whatever, depending on what, you know, other cards you have in play and in circulation. Like, that's fantastic. This card allows you to play through Disruptions and also allows you to set up a board that, like, lets you be immune to certain Disruptions like Nibiru, like, uh, like Ash Blossom, like Valor, like, you know, cards like that. So these two cards, Remus and Legatus, are strictly, like, I would consider instant three ofs in the deck. Now, the last main deck monster that we know of right now is Dragoonity Armagram. I don't personally like this card that much. I think it's great in other dragon decks, just not in Dragoonity. It doesn't seem to fill a role, and people, like, don't seem to understand what I mean by that, but I'll elaborate. But anyway, Dragoonity Armagram is a level 10 dra uh, dragon-type wind monster, 2900 attack, 2200 defense, and its effects are you can banish two dragon and or wing beast monsters from your graveyard, special summon this card from your hand or graveyard, and you can target one face-up monster on the field, negate its effects, and if you do, it loses a thousand attack for each equip card you control. And when an opponent's monster is destroyed battle and sent to the graveyard, you can equip it to this card as an equip card. You can only use each effect of Dragoonity Armagram once per turn. This card's effect lines, like, it's cool that it summons itself. That means that it is, like, by true nature, like, an extender uh, that doesn't require anything else, you know, massive on your board. But now we have Legatus that does that as well in a little bit better of a fashion. Dragoonity Armagram has just got so many things, like, almost right about it. Like, its effect line is okay, but it's not super impactful in most of the game states that it would, like, you know, put itself into. And I would honestly play this card in Dragoonity if its level was correct. It being a level 10 is honestly a huge problem, because it doesn't allow you to extend into the plays Dragoonities want to make, and that would be the reason that I would be playing this card, is if it functioned as an extender, but it was also a good standalone card. But it just doesn't really function as a good enough extender, because it is level 10. If this exact same effect text was on a level 8 monster, then I would be playing it. But the fact that it's level 10, its attack and defense stats don't really match up with the rest of the level 10s in the archetype, being the two synchros. Uh, and like, it's a, none of its effects are quick effects, meaning that it lost even a little bit of that extra uh, like potential interaction that it could have had. It just doesn't seem worth it. Now, this card is really good in other dragon decks, but in Dragoonity, I just think it's a wasted space. I think that it doesn't really fulfill too much. It might be like a niche side deck card, depending on what format we're in and what it comprises of when we get the structure deck, but as of right now, I'm not a huge fan of this card. The card I'm a real big fan of, which has completely changed the way the deck plays, is Dragoonity Glow. This card is insane. This is another one of those cards that I designed, like, I, I literally can get you the file for this. 
it's on dueling book i designed a custom card that literally it's like the effect text is different but it achieves the same result in fact glow achieves a better result than what i even wanted but it was the ability to make one card a tum plays it was what i wanted out of a spell but dragoonity glow add one level five or higher dragoonity monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one monster card in your spell and trap card zone equipped to a Dragoonity monster, special summon in defense position. You can only use each effect of Dragoonity Glow once per turn. This card is fantastic because you get to search it with Romulus. Romulus in Dragoonity was always a bit lackluster because, like, you could search Ravine, but you're already playing if you got to the point where you made Romulus. And searching Divine Lance is just searching, like, an extender that doesn't really do a lot because it's just a tuner. It had its niche applications, but it wasn't, like, the most insane thing we could have been doing. Dragoonity Glow being searchable off Romulus, though, is nuts because it means you can search Mistleton, Mistleton tribute over the Romulus, and you can re-equip Gaederg from your grave, and then Glow can banish itself to special Gaederg back, and then you can use the Gaederg effect and then go into a Tum. So, like, it just completely changes the fundamentals of how Dragoonity combos can work now. Basically, any combo that can summon Gaederg makes a full combo happen of some variety because Gaederg adds Baby Rock, discards Baby Rock, which summons itself. That's a Romulus. Romulus searches Glow, gets you Mistleton, which gets you back Gaederg, and then you have full combo. So, like, the deck with Glow in it strictly gets to combo with less amounts of cards in your hand than previously because there was no two card combos that were good before glow existed and now there are two card combos that exist of synodus plus tuner or ducks equipping a tuner from grave ducks equipping a tuner from grave is like a pseudo one card combo because the card in grave is a card that's not even a resource anymore you discarded it for ravine um or you discarded it for cards of consonants or whatever so like those combos exist now and now any form of extended form of the combo is strictly better dragoonity glow is a fantastic card and if it was the only card that we had gotten as a new card out of the structure deck i would have been happy with it but then we also got remus and legatus so like this structure deck is looking really really good i'm really pleased but last new card is the synchro dragoon knight i read bear this card is pretty good i mean it's basically just another crystal wing synchro dragon but i digress it's a level 10 3300 attack 3200 defense monster it's a dragon type synchro monster obviously it requires a dragoon tuner and one plus non-tuner monsters if your opponent activates a monster effect quick effect you can banish one dragoonity monster from your graveyard and negate the activation and if you do banish that monster after damage calculation if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle you can banish that opponent's monster if this synchro summon card in its owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card you can destroy all spells and traps your opponent controls you can only use each effect of dragoonity knight a read bear once per turn basically this card is like something that i wasn't really too excited about because i was like ah oh, it's just another copy of crystal wing but it actually just ended up working out being like a perfect card for the deck to get because of the fact that we are now switching over our combos to combo through Dragoonity Arm and Leviton because of the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon Arata. So basically this card came in, swooped in, filled a role almost perfectly. Um, because basically it's a lot harder to end on Borderload Savage and Crystal Wing on ending boards now um in like you know the simplified versions of combos but you can always end on savage plus a reed bear because of the way Leviton interacts with the combos uh so like these cards are actually just really really good uh again there may even be one or two more dragoonity cards coming in the structure deck we don't even know if we know all the new cards yet but i don't even know what they could give the deck i strictly do not even know like these cards solve so many issues and like give little interaction points like back to the deck in places that it was needed in order to make the deck even possibly playable on a high level yeah. i think that depending on the format this deck could easily be high tier two maybe even low tier one with these cards strictly because of how consistent it can function now and how it can play through like it can play through a couple of interactions now so i think the deck actually has a lot of future potential when we get this structure deck and i hope we get this structure deck sooner rather than later but anyway that is it for this video. I just wanted to go over these cards with you, give my thoughts on them, you know, let you know that I know what these cards are, I know what these cards do, and I know exactly what we can do with them. So combo tutorials will be following somewhat quickly, somewhat shortly on the channel. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that subscribe button, enable the bell notification thing so you don't miss an upload. Like the video if you liked what you saw. If you have any questions or whatever, comments or concerns, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And like I said, when this video goes live, highly likely that I'm streaming over on Twitch, talking about these new cards in more depth and more detail, and maybe solitaring a few new combos, refining some of the new combos I made as well when Glow was released. Um, all that sort of stuff. So if you're interested, link is down below. But other than that, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual. And take care. I'll see you in the next video.